Hey guys, it's Jenny Steele and you're watching The Taco. Well, it's award season, which means we're getting that much closer to Hollywood's most glamorous night, the Oscars. The 90th annual Academy Awards will be hosted by comedian Jimmy Kimmel for the second year in a row. And yeah, if you've seen the promos, he's making those infamous mixed up envelope jokes. But apparently there are procedures in place this year to make sure that mistake will never happen again. The presenters this year include some of the cast of Star Wars The Last Jedi, Mark Hamill and Oscar Isaac. We've got Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot, Spider-Man Homecoming Zen Zendaya, Margot Robbie, Emma Stone, Viola Davis, Jennifer Garner, this is the night for all the big names to come out. One expected presenter that won't be there this year though is Casey Affleck. Now Casey won the Best Actor Oscar last year and it's customary for the previous year's winner to make the presentation in that category. But because Casey was accused of sexual harassment, he didn't think his presence would be well received in the midst of the whole Me Too movement. Now when it comes to nominations, Guillermo del Toro's love story The Shape of Water is in the lead with 13 nominations, followed by Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk with eight nominations. Now you can't talk about the Oscars without talking about the Oscar snubs. A lot of people were surprised to see the lack of nominations for Wonder Woman. The movie made more than $400 million at the box office. And not only was it the first female fronted superhero movie of all time, it was also one of the biggest releases of the year. And not to mention that in a year of women speaking out and standing up for themselves, well, Wonder Woman not being nominated rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. The disaster artist starring James Franco also got the old snub. Now, Oscar nominations came out just days after his sexual assault allegations. And although Franco says the allegations are not accurate, it makes you wonder if they affected the Oscar nominations. So who are you betting on to take home the Oscar for Best Picture? And do the BAFTAs help us predict the Oscars? Well, not necessarily. Three billboards took home the BAFTA, but the BAFTA and the Oscars haven't agreed on Best Picture since 12 Years a Slave in 2014. One reason is because they use a different voting system. For the BAFTAs, the film with the most votes wins. Simple. But for the Oscars, they use a more complicated ballot system where sometimes the second and third preferences get taken into account, and that can shake things up. And have you ever wondered who does the actual voting? Let's take a look at the Golden Globes and the Oscars. Now, the Golden Globes are decided by a group of 90 to 100 foreign journalists Journalists, while the Oscars are decided by 6,000 directors, cinematographers, and actors. But even with their different voting styles, the Oscar-winning Best Actor and Actress can usually be predicted by the Golden Globes. Nine of the last 10 Best Actor Oscar winners also received the Globe. The same stats can be said for Best Actress. So it's looking pretty good for Gary Oldman and Frances McDormand, who already received the Golden Globes in those categories. But when it comes to Best Picture, that is totally up in the air. Only five of the last 10 Best Picture winners at the Oscars also received the globe. So at the end of the day, anything can happen at the Oscars. And like we saw last year, be ready for some surprises. So what are your Oscar predictions and who are you most excited to see on the red carpet? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.